nice run. Look at that run. Jeez. Hey guys, John Moo from John Can Fish TV. Okay, I'm going to show you um, how I tie my snapper rigs, my float line snapper rigs. Now, um, yeah, these rigs do really well for me, especially in the close reefs on the Gold Coast. Um, and, you know, I catch a lot of big snapper. And also, the you know, the, the juvenile legal pan size ones as well. So, um, but I noticed that, you know, in terms of catching the bigger ones, it works really, really well. And, um, okay, so here we go. All right, guys. Um, so um, the leader that I use is either Black Magic 40 pounds, but never had any problems with this um, 40 pounds. But these days, because the the snapper are getting a little bit bigger, you know, I'm I'm getting snappers around the 85 centimeters. Um, 50 pounds is a safer bet, so I've gone with the Platypus Tough Leader. Never let me down. All right. So in terms of the leader the length see I've already marked it from here to here and here to here so that's about 1.2 meters and from here to here it's about I don't know why it's but it's 33 centimeters works perfectly for me and I'll show you why okay so this is what I do every single time because every time I finish and I tie it on this tube the sinker is perfectly on the same spot <laughs> so all the weight is identical uh, on uh, it's even and balanced okay so I do this okay that's how I know all my rigs are always carbon copies okay I use octopus gamagatsus number six I have used size eights before um, but for snapper I don't think you need it uh, I, so size eights are great um, for jewfish um, because Jewfish got bigger mouths, so um, so now I tend to stick with uh, six O's, uh, Gamma Katsus for snapper. So this line here, I, I always put it through the eye of the hawk, and then I measure it up like that, and that's perfect like that. Okay. So I do a bit of a loop, comes back. Okay. And then. I do about seven times three four five six and seven like that you can see nice and neat I hold it together and I simply just put the line through that little loop that I created like that okay so now that's how long I want my other hook to to be to go right so I just simply pull it tight like that all right and then I pull it back like that all right no snappers pulling that off okay so down the bottom I just do a double blood knot so it's roughly there so I just go around a little bit more six or seven times is enough for this so for this uh, thickness in line because the thicker you go the harder it is there you go through there through this hole I've just created okay and then you got another loop here let me just and then this goes in this loop okay like that now all you need to wet it with your saliva and pull it like that now you just Double check it. Okay. Then just make sure it's nice and snug. As you can see, I hooked myself. Blooper. Video blooper. All right. And just cut that off like that. All right. That's it. That's how long. Okay. You need a big pilly <laughs> to go on there. But all right. Next thing I do is I... Um, I put a tube you can use these Genkai ones they're cheaper or you can use these Shogun ones you get about a dozen for ten dollars so let's just do that put it through all the way protects the hook like that okay 
um, you can do that or alternatively as I said you can use these uh, cheaper Genkai ones I'll show you a bit harder to get through the, the eye of the hook but it does fit okay let me just get that through okay just like so you just gotta like twist it it's because it's pretty tough and and then as you get it all the way almost through you just give it a good tug like that and the see the um the knot goes inside the tube like that so you just tighten that up just give me a sec perfect all right then the next thing you do is grab one of these bad boys I just get these from Aliexpress man cheap cheapest chips or even eBay and then uh, feed it through these are skirts now these go directly through there as well you don't have to push it all the way through it's just like that that's nice and tight fantastic okay so it looks like a cocktail you know then I use these sinkers size 2 ball sinkers by the way if you're interested I, I, was make, I make these I use a glow paint and they'll work really well but I'm out of size 2's I may have one here to show you no ran out okay so you go through there size 2 straight onto the hook or sometimes um yeah some people like to put a bead here but because there's a tube here underneath it sort of stops the banging anyway so it doesn't matter you don't really need a tube up the top at, well a bead or anything up the top you can it doesn't hurt look just um just whack it on will it make a difference in your catch <laughs> maybe not <laughs> so you can do that it's not a problem it doesn't doesn't stop them from biting all right the next thing you need to do now is just i just grab a any uh size one or maybe slightly smaller i've got a ton of these just the cheap ones mustard um all right double blood knot here we come so roughly about yep six times all right and two loops put it through saliva and full like that fantastic and you cut that off and there you have it the ultimate snapper rig okay guys and then I just put it on these tubes pull tubes noodles and there's no messing around when I get a snag or I cut it tie it on, tie on a swivel and I'm good to go straight away in a few minutes all right I just got to tie the rest of them up and uh, get ready for my next trip like and subscribe to my channel it really supports me thank you